So here's the situation. You see that? That thing is kaput. So what I've got to do is take the tire off of here. I got to deflate it. I got to put the tire on this new one right here. And then we got to put this on to the back of that. And that's my, <laughs> that's what we're going to do today. So it's basically easy. We just got to unhook that, loosen that, and then loosen this over here. Pull the wheel off. We're probably going to get some, some grease on us. Then we got to, we got to deflate that tire, pull that whole tire out of there put the tire on this one, and then put this back onto this bike. And that's it. I got a number 15 uh, uh, ratchet ready to go. Let's put that there. And then, um, so we don't get grease all over our hands, let's use these gloves. Slip them right on there, just like that. Problem when you use the gloves, they can't turn the camera on and off. So that's kind of... <laughs> all right, so there we go. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna loosen this one side here. Huh. Should go this way to loosen it, right? Lefty Lucy? There's always a oh there we go. Jeez. That was that was stupid. Lefty Lucy? So I'm doing the other side. So lefty Lucy. So I'm going this way, right? Counterclockwise. I don't have to go that far. So now it's loose. I think it is. Yeah, that's loose. That was loose too. Now we just gotta loosen those. All right, so I've got to loosen this right here because this is what kind of stabilizes the bike. So we got to go to the left, just get it loose. There we go. Should come off of there. All right, so anyway, this first one here, I can get off because I can grab it with my finger. And I don't want to lose these because I might need them for the other tire. All right, so let's go ahead and get that out of there. And let's save that. And then this one here, I think we can just leave it on here because we may need it for the other one, okay? Even though it's kind of rusty and yucky. Okay, so now what I've got to do is I've got to move the tire forward a little bit like this and then take the chain off of it, just like that. I'll just leave the chain right there. And now we've got the tire off. And I'm going to set the tire right over here, just like that. I have some uh, of these little lights that you screw onto your valve, and I've got to pull those off first. So we got to let the air out of the tire. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take the valve off of there. And then we can go ahead and get a screwdriver, push it in there and pull the air out. I'm just pushing the screwdriver in there. It's a brand new tire and a brand new... Uh... Got to get it to where I can push it through there. So once you've got all the air out of the tube, you want to get a flathead screwdriver and try to get it in between the rim and the tire so you can pull one side of the tire off the rim. That way we can get to the tube inside. So I'm going to take that flathead, I'm just going to try to work it uh, down the side of the rim in between the tire and the edge of the rim and try to get it to uh, slide off. As you can see, as you get going, it starts to move a little bit quicker and you seem to be able to get it off a little bit easier as I'm doing right now. You can see I'm just kind of pulling it off now with my hand and uh, it's coming off pretty easy. And just go all the way around the tire until it's completely off. So before you try to pull the tube out, you might find that it has some air in it and it's gonna be a little difficult. So you may have to squeeze it a little bit, try to get that excess air out. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna push that valve stem all the way through the hole on the rim and you're going to grab that uh, tube and just work it all the way around the tire until you got it uh, out of there. Uh, and bam, Bob is your uncle. That's how you do it. And once the tube is completely out, you can go ahead and easily pull the tire off the rim. It just slips right off. Watch. I just pull it and there it is. Bam, done. All right, so I bought this brand new rim for the back of my tire because my other one was broken. Now I'm going to show you how to put this tire and uh, this uh, tube on the rim. First, we're just going to squeeze it all the way around, and it goes on pretty easy, as you'll see. You only want one side of the tire to be on the rim so that you can slip the tube in on the other side. So now I line up the valve with the hole in the wheel on the tube and I'm going to push that valve stem through that hole and uh, smush it in there 
and once you've got it all the way through then you can start running your tube inside of your tire. I made a tactical mistake and I pushed both sides of the tire onto the rim so I had to get a flathead screwdriver and pull the one side off the rim by sticking the screwdriver between the tire and the rim and then sliding it all the way around so that I could get the tube in there. Uh, and once I did that I could go ahead and slide that tube inside of the tire. Once you've got your tube inside of the tire then you can work your way around the wheel and smush the tire back onto the rim and then grab your pump and this specific one which is a 26 inch takes 40 pounds of pressure so I just pumped it right up to 40 pounds of pressure and now that uh, wheel and tire and tube is ready to go on the back of my beach cruiser. All right, now we got to put it back on the bike. So these got to be loosened, right, on both sides. There we go. All right, so I got to pull it forward and then slide the chain around it and slide it back. This is where the gloves come in handy. This chain's kind of gooky. So let's pull that out. We got to get the chain around it. And then I'm just going to set her there. And then what I want to do is get it right on there like that. And then we're going to slide it back. So we get to a spot and then we got to balance it inside here so it's even right and then we start to tighten her down a little bit just to get an idea of where we're at because it's got to be center right so now if we look at it and we spin it the idea is to make sure it's kind of centered so it looks like i got to come a little bit this way and then tighten that down a little bit more right like that and then let's see how much play we got in this. All right, so I think we're kind of close. So let's get let's get this on it. This has got to come a little bit more this way. And let's go ahead. We're going to change this. We're going to put it to the tightening mode. I'm starting over here. Now I do have to hook this up here. But first I want to get the tire pretty straight inside this area, so that when so we're looking good. So we're going to go right about there. All right, let's let's hold that there. Let's see if we're looking good. I mean, are we straight? See, there's more room on this side. So I got to loosen it. And I got to come the other way. So I got to come this way a little bit more. I think a little bit more. Got to come up. All right. Let's see if that, how that looks. Still got I got so much extra room there. Too close to this one side so this side's got to come up a little bit Let's see if that works okay okay that's that all right push that thing right over there okay all right we gotta bend it we'll lose that here it is just gonna bend it just like that then we're going to go around there and lock it on. And go like that. And then we just got to smush that stuff through there. Get her through. Alright, we're going to need a hammer. So I'm just basically tapping this up, that's all. There we go. Now I can, now I can connect it here. There we go. Now where's our Phillips? Get on it. There we go. Now we're doing it. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's going to tighten it right down on there. And keep that tire where it needs to be. So anyway, folks, I do learn as I go. <laughs> so Okay, that's, you may have to loosen that out of this one. All right, so now we're on there. Let's see how we're doing. It looks pretty good. All right, now I got to tighten down the other side, right? So let's come back over here to our chain side, and I just got to get her, get her tightened. Tighty tighty, lefty loosey. So now we should be good. Just we won't know until we take it to a spin, right? Now let's get this side. Okay. One more on this side. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how tight you're supposed to make this, but there we go. I mean, it looks okay, I guess. Let's, let's see how we do on this. All right, let's see if we got it. I think that might be good. I don't know if, the, if we got too much play in the, you have to have some play in it, I guess. All right, I guess we could try and take it for a ride. What do you get, what do you think? Let's go ahead and get her gloves off and uh, we'll see how she runs. We'll see how she, we'll see how she performs. Okay, all right, here we go. What do you think? I think we fixed it. Not bad job. I'm pedaling, it's nice and smooth. I think we fixed it, we're good. That uh, tire cost me, I think 80 bucks, or that wheel cost me 80 bucks on Amazon. And now this looks super clean, I like it. It's like almost like a new bike. <laughs> so that wasn't too hard, it took about a half hour. All right, if you like this video, subscribe to my channel and check out my other awesome videos where I do stuff like that. Peace out.